Six to go. Drop in unannounced. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I put up a few Christmas decorations just to make it feel more like home. Does it feel like home yet? Well, it's only been a day. Well. <laughs> It looks fabulous already. When you first mentioned renting a furnished place, I knew I had the perfect listing. Oh, I made you a little bit of a uh, welcome to the neighborhood Christmas bath. Oh. You didn't have to do that. Will your family be visiting over the holidays? Because Cedar Park shines at Christmas time. No, it's just me. Oh, but it's fine. It's fine. My medical fellowship will keep me busy. And I plan on volunteering for extra shifts. Yeah, that's very nice. And, and, and I, I do think it's very important to give back when we can. So, Oh, oh dear. Okay, I have to go. Somebody's expecting me. I can't be late. Ta-ta. <sighs> as well. I know your first choice was Northwest Falls Medical in Chicago, but I'm so pleased you match with us, Dr. Stafford. Your fellowship program in orthopedics is one of the best. Well, we may be a small hospital, but we are mighty. I certainly believe it. Well, tomorrow we'll get you acclimated, and uh, you can jump right in. I look forward to it. <laughs> good, good. Bought over at Camden. Mm -hmm. It's not far from the hardware store. I could always use an extra pair of hands. You have good people around you? Sure. Yeah? Oh, um, there's barely enough room as it is. Ah, me. Where are you going to put it? Back home after six years. I just want to make all your favorites. Mm -hmm. Mom, you could feed an entire regiment. <laughs> she had me make three different trips to the store today. Well, there still is nothing quite like Mom's home cooking, I'll God tell you that. Right. And now you can have it anytime you like. Thank you. We're so proud of you, son. Grandpa would be, too, knowing you followed in his footsteps. Thanks, Pop. It's nice to be home. Good to have you home. Well, first things first, as much as I would love to have you living with us, I'm pretty <laughs> sure you'd like to have a place to call your own. So I know a great spot over in Camden. Mm -hmm. It's not far from the hardware store. I could always use an extra pair of hands, you know. Gets busy during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also you could you could help me out sometimes when I'm showing my listings. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's just slow down here, shall we? I just got back into town. Very happy to be here. Can't we enjoy this nice meal together? Sure. Just, uh, I mean, I just don't know why you should sit around waiting for things to happen. Better to be busy. That's okay, true. what's going on here? Sorry, honey. Um, it's just that we know that we, you thrive on structure, so we thought... The Air Force was good for that. We just don't want you to be adrift. I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me, okay? Okay. I will figure out my next steps. <laughs> oh! Honey, big hands. Oh! <laughs> There's a the worst thing to ask for help. Well, if I ever need any, I know who to ask. So you're sore? Okay, one regular latte, one almond milk latte, one soy latte, one vanilla latte, one chai latte. Which is a lot of lattes. I start a new job today. I'm going to do something nice for everyone. One cappuccino, one mochaccino, one americano, and one decaf. I do my best. Thanks. You're welcome. Watch out. Oh, coffee train, full steam ahead. Do you, do you need some help there? Thanks, I've got it. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Are you sure? Uh, positive. Now you're just trying to prove something. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, it's not the worst thing to ask for help. Well, if I ever need any, I know who to ask. So yourself, Kate. How did you know my... It's written on the cups. All nine of them. Hi, everyone. 
This is Dr. Kate Stafford, our new Hi, orthopedic fellow. Welcome. As you can see, her instincts are already top notch. <laughs> or it's just my way to try to win everyone over. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a patient waiting, but Liz here has offered to show you around. Great. Hi. Hi. Liz Warner, nurse and manager of Christmas Merriment. Oh, self-appointed. <laughs> this is my third year at Cedar Park Hospital. How's your leg feeling? It's okay, I've just been sitting too long. Yeah, no. Why don't you have that checked out Mom, today? Really is a wonderful place. The town, the people, it's all so lovely. And you'll meet everyone, and soon enough, this place will feel just like home. For the year, at least, until my fellowship is done. Where are you from? Oh, well, I moved around a lot, so I never really know how to answer that question. Here, let me help. Don't you just love Christmas? I do, yeah. But it's... It's been a while since I've had a proper celebration. We'll have to do something about that. Yeah. Oh, here, let me get you another one. Oh, no, that's okay, Mom. I'm all right. <sighs> How's your leg feeling? It's okay. I've just been sitting too long. Yeah, no. Why don't you have that checked out? Mom, you don't need to worry about me. Yeah. It's fine. I'm your mother, so it's my job to worry, so I'm just going to call the clinic. Mom, no. <laughs> we will follow up next week, Mrs. Jones. Thank you, Dr. Stafford. And I will be sure to plant those hyacinth bulbs just like you suggested. Thanks for the gardening tips. <laughs> gardening <laughs> tips? <laughs> At this rate, you're going to win over the whole town. Okay, Kate, okay, your next patient's ready. Thanks. Hello, Mr. Matthews. I'm Dr. Stafford. Kate, from the coffee shop. Oh, it's you. I prefer Kevin, actually. Well, Kevin, from the coffee shop. What can I help you with? I don't need any help. Then My leg took the brunt of the impact. Two surgeries later, good as new. Any recurring pain? Then why'd you come here? My mom made me. Aren't you a little old for that excuse? Uh, I thought so, but she insisted I get my leg looked at. Well, what happened to it? Injured it during military service, that he'll just find the end. Can I go now? Shouldn't you be at a VA hospital? The nearest one is a couple towns over. This was a lot quicker. I'm a busy guy. Clearly. Well, let's take a look at it. Since you're here. It's fine, really. Then it should be quick. <sighs> so how did you injure it, exactly? Uh, I kicked a shark in the face. Hmm. That's funny. I was pararescue. It's a... Division of the Air Force. Two years ago, during an airdrop exercise, my chute malfunctioned. When I hit the ground, my leg took the brunt of the impact. Two surgeries later, good as new. Any recurring pain? Every now and then. Well, this hospital has a great physical therapy program. I don't need it. I'm all good. I, um, vaguely recall someone telling me it's not the worst thing to ask for help. Oh, well, if I ever need any, I know who to turn to. Do I get a lollipop now? Cute. Hey, ma'am. Hi, honey. Kate? Oh, I should have realized you'd be working here. <gasps> Wait a second, you two know each other? I helped Kate find her new rental property. Uh, I just saw the most stubborn patient. A tall, handsome guy with a good hair. I said, oh. yeah, Kevin Matthews. Maggie's your mom. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't this a delightful coincidence? Yes, Dr. Uh, Stafford. Can you say our experience together was delightful? One of many words in the dictionary to choose from. Hmm. Did he get the all clear? Yes. Yes, but I'm sure as you know, uh, your son is very independent. Yes, so too it seems is Dr. Stafford. And I guess you've each met your match. <laughs> Doctor? I just saw the most stubborn patient. The tall, handsome guy with the good hair? I suppose his height is statistically above average. Hey, are you free this Saturday? I'm organizing the annual Christmas event here. Hmm, sounds fun. Yeah, I always plan a big event for the patients and their families. My first year was a bake sale, then the pageant. And this year? 
a musical performance by the Cedar Park Warblers. All the holiday hits. Well, who doesn't love a holiday hit? <laughs> Anything I can do to help? No, just enjoy. I'll be there. Extension cables will give your Christmas lights enough power to wow the whole street. <laughs> Thanks. Merry Christmas. Is that? Take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to name the baby Kevin? Kevin, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Merry Christmas. Nice to see another Matthews working to Matthews Family Hardware again. Oh, just like weekends in high school. Hmm? If you're not careful, you may wind up with the keys to the kingdom. Well, well, well. If it isn't the hometown hero himself. There he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey. Good to see you. I was home swimming by yesterday, but got caught at the camera shop. But hey, better late than ever, right? Nah, I don't sweat it. I see you're not no. just here for me. <clears throat> Outlet plugs, edge guards, cabinet locks. I know you're clumsy, but this seems excessive. <laughs> or uh, perfect for baby proof in a house? No. Mm -hmm. Congrats, man. Oh, that's incredible. You and Carolyn must be thrilled. Oh, yeah, thrilled, elated. <clears throat> Nervous as heck. Take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to name the baby Kevin? Kevin, for sure. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> so, you getting your own place soon? Keeping my options open. Okay. Oh, speaking of, you got to let me introduce you to some of Carolyn's friends. Listen, dating is the last thing on my mind right now, okay? And so, what's on your mind? Why is everyone so concerned about my next moves? I'll land on my feet. Transitioning to civilian life can't be easy. I'm figuring it out. Oh, working here's a good start. Yeah, I think my dad may want me to take over the store one day. That's great. That's not great. I don't really have the heart to tell him. It's not really my... You're calling. Yeah. yeah I bet he'd understand. Not so sure. What about the VA? Don't they have a job placement service? Yeah. I've got a meeting with them in a few days, actually. Good. Yeah. I have a big picture. What do you want? To find you some cabinet locks, you're definitely going to have a hard time opening them. OK, I got it. Hmm. Six-letter word for glossy coating. Oh. Enamel. Hmm. It's a nine-letter word for something I've been avoiding. Unpacking. Oh. Journey of giving unlocks with this Let's key. Solve this, this riddle problem. and you shall see. A riddle? Letters of plenty, only seven for me. To Santa they went by air and land. See.
Yeah, but who would have left it for me? Maybe it's the spirit of Christmas. I'm sure it's just somebody playing a prank. Regardless, could be a fun challenge. Or a distraction I don't have time for. I wouldn't be so quick to brush it off. Magical things tend to happen around the holidays. Dad, you ever seen a key like this? No. Where does it come from? I don't know. Somebody left it outside the store last night. Oh, looks vintage, that's for sure. Well, they left the riddle along with it as well. It must lead to something. But what you gonna do? Solving some random riddle is the last thing on my mind right now. Son, I remember. Used to have an adventurous spirit. Solve the riddle yet? Oh, not yet. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Letters of plenty. Only seven for me, two Santa. They went by air, land, and sea. A tree with four sides is where you'll find me. What's a tree with four sides? It belongs to a mailbox in town. But where? I have until seven. Maybe it's a topiary? A very geometric topiary. You have anything like that in town? Like a tree in an English manor garden, perfectly sculpted into a cube by a groundskeeper named Cheats. Not that I know of. All right. Letters of plenty, only seven for me. So it's obviously describing the object I'm looking for. What has seven letters and has something to do with Santa? Reindeer. Reindeer. Ah, that's eight letters. That's it. What's it? Letters. The kind that kids send to Santa by air, land, and sea. And what has letters of plenty? Mailbox. M A I L B O X. Seven letters. This key belongs to a mailbox in town. But where? I have until 7 30 tonight to figure that out. <laughs> okay, I know you're a mailbox, but where are you? Okay, 15 minutes left. Tree with four sides is where you'll find me. What has four sides? What trees have four sides? What thing with four sides has trees? <sighs> Juniper square? Tree, square. Oh, it's not that small. You got one too. Someone left this outside my door last night. Square, tree, square. Tree. Oh, <laughs> all right. Kevin? I know this is a small town, but it's not that small. You got one, too. Someone left this outside my door last night. Along with a riddle? Yeah, pretty easy one, if you ask me. Ah, of course. I bet you didn't need any help with it at all. No, I didn't. I'm a certified genius. Didn't you know that? Is that so? Yes. OK, fine. But why were we both sent to the same place at the same time with the same key? <sighs> oh, look. I wonder what's inside. Only one way to find out. Ready? Come this far. <laughs> well. That's it then? That's it. Journey ends here? Guess so. Good. Fine. I guess we know which one we're gonna open first. Hey. Oh, come on. It's like when you see a door that says do not open, you just want to know what's inside the... Fine, we'll do it your way. Congratulations, you found me. For the first stop on your journey of giving, choose a treasured Christmas tradition from one of your childhoods and help each other recreate it for someone you know. 
help each other, huh? Well, Dr. Stafford, it seems you're finally gonna have to give in. Oh, like you at the hospital? I didn't need any help. Neither did I. I seem to remember a near avalanche of almond lattes. I guess we're both just two people who like to do things for themselves. I guess so. So? So? That's it, then? That's it. Journey ends here? Guess so. Good. Fine. So you just went your separate way? Yep. But the adventure, the mystery, the riddle that led you there. The real riddle is why are men so stubborn? I don't think it's just men. Well, I can't help it if Kevin doesn't want to work with me. Maybe you can get him to reconsider. Or maybe this little holiday journey wasn't meant to happen. Speaking of things that weren't meant to happen, Cedar Park Warblers got their dates mixed up and double booked. Oh, no. Yeah, it's fine. I just have to find a new event on short notice. Well, I'm headed out to run some errands on my break, but I'm gonna be back there now. Great idea. All right, thanks. So you actually... I'll keep an eye out for any ideas. Oh, thanks, girl. Of course. Okay, wait, so you both just walked away? Yep. Oh, maybe she'll change her mind. I don't know. Kate seems like the kind of person who's very set in her ways. Huh. I can say the same about you. Oh. Here to reconsider? <laughs> You're the one who didn't want to work together. I seem to remember it differently. You must be Kate. Hi. Hi, I'm uh, Jackson. And before I excuse myself to let you work out <clears throat> whatever this is, uh, Kevin definitely does want to work together. He thought you didn't. Okay, I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be back there now. Great idea. All right, thanks. So you actually do want to do this? Do you? Well, I'm, I'm very busy at the hospital. It's a busy season at the store, so... Besides, who knows how long it could take. It's a big risk, yeah. But if we did... It, it is interesting. It's not something you see every day. Definitely not. Okay, well... I'm game if you are. Well, I'm game if you are. Are you just going along with this to prove something? Are you? I suppose neither of us will ever know. Hmm. Fine. I'm in. Great. I'm in, too. Now, could you tell me where I could find some sponges? Oh, so you're not just here to see me. I'm sorry to hear that. We'll start with a physical exam to see what's going on. Well, you looked my symptoms up online. Mm, happy accident. Mm. I just need to pick up some cleaning supplies, and I didn't even know you worked here. It's my father's store. Sponges are over there. What else can I help you find? Uh, I'm good, thanks. I thought we were working together now. Fair enough. Feather duster? Next to the squeegees. See? You make a great team. Cute. So, when do you want to start? I could meet after my shift ends. Great. See you then. Jackson, a word, please. Mr. McAllister? That's me. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Stafford, right this way. When did the pain in your hip begin? This morning. I could barely get out of bed to bring myself here. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We'll start with a physical exam and see what's going on. Well, you looked my symptoms up online, and I may have a very rare condition, and it's called... What's it called? It begins with an L. Uh, Let's not focus on what might be, and instead focus on what we learned, Mr. McAllister. Thank you. That's a good idea. Oh, and before I forget, my symptoms also match this other condition that I saw online, and the photos of it were absolutely terrible. Now, I'm very concerned about that because I had an uncle who had a very similar situation, and, uh, you know, he was... Uh... Kevin? <sighs> Sorry I'm late. One of my patients discovered web... Oh, um... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. No, 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 I just, I lost my D. Oof, say no more. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Yeah, what do we got? You ready? Yes. Choose a treasured Christmas tradition from one of your childhoods and help each other recreate it for someone you know. When do we get to open this one? Only once you've completed this task, you may peek inside the second envelope. Fine. <laughs> okay. Do epic snowball fights count? Eh. Yeah, I didn't think so anyway. Yeah. Um, okay, what were some of your favorite Christmas traditions as a kid? 
Oh, I always love it when I'd wake up and my dad's recipe book was on the kitchen counter. It meant that we were about to bake some delicious Christmas cookies together. Well, that sounds oh. nice. Are you going to see your folks over the holidays? Oh, um... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. No, 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 I just... I lost my parents when I was young. I'm so sorry, Kate. My grandma raised me after that, but yeah, I've been on my own for quite a while now. It must be hard. I try to remind myself to be grateful for the times we had together. But, uh, try as I might, I did not inherit his baking skills. <laughs> well, my mother is an expert in the kitchen, and all I'm good at is eating. <laughs> but I'm, like, really good. <laughs> I bet. Oh. Uh... When I was young, my mom and I used to decorate our own ornaments. We'd buy beads and glitter and water-based paint. We'd design little lamps. I'm gonna call her. You're gonna call her right now? Right now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, landscapes or snowflakes or elves. It always made the tree feel like ours. Why don't we just do that? Really? Yeah, why not? Sounds like fun. Yeah, okay. But we're supposed to do it for people we know, and I don't know anyone in town except for you and my colleagues at the hospital. Like Liz. Liz? Uh, she's one of our nurses. She always organizes the holiday activity at the hospital, but the Warbler's double booked, so... Ah, the famous Cedar Park Warbler's. Great with the holiday hits. Terrible with time management. <laughs> well, Liz needs a new holiday event this weekend. I think ornament decorating could be perfect. So do I. Great. All right. Um, will you hold this? Sure. I'm going to call her. You're going to call her right now? Right now. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Liz. I have an idea I think you're going to love. Hi, everyone. This is a holiday tradition I always did with my mom, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. You done? All right, everyone. Let's get decorating. Come on. What's your name? Robbie. Must be hard decorating ornaments with the armor cast. Yeah. There. What do you think? Am I budding Michelangelo? Was that a... Was that a horse? It's, it's a reindeer. It's Rudolph. Look at the nose. Right. Dead giveaway. <laughs> All right. Art is not my strong suit. Let's see yours. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to chalk that up to you being trained in surgical precision. <laughs> no, I can't do this no more. No. Did you see that? I can't do it. Just try with his hand. Give another shot. It's okay. I can do it. Robbie. I can't do this. Hi. I'm Kate. What's your name? Robbie. Must be hard decorating ornaments with the armor cast. Yeah. The doctor put it on today. He's a trooper through the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, some kids have their friends sign their cast. Would you like us to sign yours? Say, is that a C-130 you've got there? How did you know? Oh, I just got back from the Air Force, where I was a pararescuman, which means I jumped out of planes just like that one. Really? Yeah. Except a couple of years ago, I hurt my leg, and I had to wear a cast, too. But I wasn't going to let that stop me. I could have fun in all kinds of other ways. Like how? Well, just because you can't decorate an ornament doesn't mean you can't make one. That's right. The nice thing about Christmas trees is anything can become an ornament. Like my... But you know what? It's missing one thing. Airplane? Exactly, <laughs> dude. You can just rest it in the branches, you know? Or you can make it an actual ornament by adding a bit of ribbon. Oh, there's an idea. There you go. And get your finger right in the middle. Ready? There. Well, not quite, Mia. Just one finishing touch. Mm -hmm. U.S.A.F. U.S. Air Force. Well, can I see? Of course. <laughs> it's official now. It's beautiful. It really is. 
But you know what? It's missing one thing. Get up there. Airman Robbie, please report for duty. <laughs> Find a chance for Christmas cheer, connecting far and near. Looks like the event was a hit. What? No, nothing. It's just you're really great with Robbie back there. Oh, is that a compliment I hear? More a statement of fact. Okay. <laughs> Not everyone has good bedside manner. Well, Doctor, it was uh, kind of nice working together. Yeah, it was. Oh, uh, we're forgetting something. The no peeking envelope. <laughs> How could we forget to peek at the no, no peeking envelope? envelope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, another riddle. Christmas clock rewind. Between then and now, you'll find a chance for Christmas cheer connecting far and near. Hmm. I wonder what it means. Hmm. But I don't have to wait because I have to start my rounds. Yeah, I've got a meeting at the VA staffing agency. Um, meet up after? Sure. Okay. Yeah. And don't solve it without me. Hey, no promises. <laughs> you know, your resume is impressive. Top grades in college, knowledge of construction and manufacturing, experience leading teams. But what is it you actually want to do? You know, I haven't really zeroed in on that quite yet. Well, you are well. Uh-huh. I'm coming over. Sure, if you want to. I mean, yeah, he's on you. Well suited for the majority of jobs that come across my desk. I'm not just looking for any job. I've got one here, and I can continue there if I want. What I'm really hoping to find is... What the next chapter of your life is going to be. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's only something that you can really answer. Hey, buddy. Hey, if I can't find wooden dowels, can I use nails instead? Uh-oh, are you building something? Hey, it's all, you know, it's all under control. If I could just locate the instruction manuals, I'd be cool. Uh-huh. I'm coming over. Sure, if you want to. Yeah, he's on. I would have gotten it eventually. <laughs> you know, Jackson, you are good at many, many things. Mm -hmm. If I ever need a photographer or the latest up-to-date camera equipment, you're the first person I turn to. But building of any kind? Not my strong suit. No, sir. What if I'm, uh, what if I'm not good at it? At what? Fatherhood. It's a whole different ball game. My kid's gonna be depending on me, man. Listen, I know it's not the same thing at all, but my first few... It's wonderful. Kevin, can you stay for dinner? I can't tonight, I'm sorry. Weeks in the Air Force, I was terrified. So, how'd you deal with it? Well, I just trusted that even if I didn't have all the answers, I knew when it came down to it, I'd do the right thing. Yeah, I hope I can get to that point. You will, man. Hey, how's that um, Christmas mystery clue uh, riddle hunt thing with Kate go? Oh, is that what we're calling it? That's what I'm calling it. Okay. Um, you know what? It's uh, it's actually going pretty well. Kevin? Hi. Yeah, I was hoping to see you soon. Oh, my goodness. Congratulations in person. Oh, Look at you. Thanks. It feels like it's happening so fast. So exciting. <laughs> Oh, look at this crib. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Kevin, can you stay for dinner? I can't tonight. I'm sorry. I have plans. Next time. I'm so glad you're Good back. Good to see you. Me too. Now, what else can I fix around here and give you credit for, huh? 
Read me the clue again. Okay. Christmas clock rewind. Between then and now, you'll find a chance for Christmas cheer, connecting far and near. Between then and now. Hmm, this is a fun one. I didn't know you were so into all this. Well, I owe it to my dad. Every Sunday morning, we do crossword puzzles. I'm fine, honey. Thank you. What have you got there, Mom? Just a little Christmas shopping, a newspaper together, and jigsaw puzzles at night. Oh, so you were his little puzzle apprentice, were you? <laughs> yeah, I guess I was. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if it's one of the reasons I got into medicine. Getting to the bottom of the challenge, examining clues, unlocking answers. What? Oh, nothing. That's just one of the things I loved about being in the Air Force. Strategizing, problem solving. It's like putting together a puzzle. Maggie, hi. Do you need any help? Oh, hey, Ma. Hey, Kevin. Hi there. Hey. No, I'm fine, honey. Thank you. What have you got there, Mom? Just a little Christmas shopping. For me? <laughs> if you're lucky. <laughs> you know, Christmas is only a week away. Okay, what are you doing tomorrow night? Well, I'm not on rotation at the hospital, so I'll probably... Okay, well, the correct answer is you're coming over to our house for dinner. Arnold and I insist. Oh, I don't want to impose. A little bit of advice. Don't try to fight it. Okay, then. Excellent. <laughs> okay, I got to run, but I'll see you tomorrow night. Let's Great see you to then. see you. I never wanted to take no for an answer. <laughs> Santa's Village looks incredible. Yeah. It's going to look even better once Dad and I put the finishing touches on Santa's house. So. What? Yeah. Matthew's Family Hardware has sponsored and built Santa's Village every year. Everyone always wants to be common. <laughs> oh, what am I thinking? Great years oh, ever since I was a kid. It's amazing to see how much it's grown since then. I had no idea. Why didn't you say anything? You never asked me. No. <laughs> oh. oh, I used to do the reindeer races every year growing up. Reigning champ four years in a row, don't mind the saying. <laughs> Mildly impressive. What do you say? With your knee? Uh, that's not, not the best idea. No. Afraid of a little friendly competition, are we? Oh, please. I'll hop gently, Dr. Stafford. Okay, fine. Great. Dr. Proof, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to be blitzing? Comment. Oh, please, comment for sure. Yeah, it's typical. <laughs> Everyone always wants to be comment. <laughs> oh, what am I thinking? Green oh, ready? <laughs> Make up for my ornament decorating skills. That's a good point. <laughs> Plus, I may have run a bit of track in high school. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Christmas clock in line. Pardon me? Look, Christmas through the ages. That has to be it. Oh, the museum. Yeah. It's, it's not far from here. Yes, that's right. Well, feel free to have a quick look around. Thank you. Let me guess. If we, if we leave now, we can get there before it closes. Let's go. Great <laughs> job. <laughs> Welcome to Cedar Park Historical Museum. Just to let you know, we'll be closing soon. Mr. McAllister? Dr. Stafford, what a surprise. And speaking of surprises, Kevin, I heard you were back in town. It's good to see you. You too, sir. I didn't know you worked here. Oh. Mr. McAllister doesn't just work here, he owns a museum. Curator of all things historical in this fine town. That's incredible. Actually, while I've got you here, have you ever heard of Lanz Jorgen's syndrome? It's very rare. I will look into it. Didn't you say that the museum's closing shortly? Oh, yes, that's right. Well, feel free to have a quick look around. Thank you. <laughs> Let me guess. Patient Web MD? Mm -hmm. so special how your town celebrates history like this. Yeah, my grandfather used to take me to this exhibit every year. He was very into local history. Actually, it's still here. Wow. My grandfather built this. 
Was he from Cedar Park? He was, but he spent half of his life in the Army Air Corps stationed all around the world. Wow, I can't believe he built all this. I know. Every Christmas morning, he'd let me help him put it together. We'd lay down the streets and the little trees. My favorite part was spill. Then and now you'll find. Okay. Uh, Let's see. Building the houses, of course. And then when he donated it to the museum, we'd come here every year and look at it again. It was like a cute little family thing. And of course, I was also always here for that. Oh, look at that. Of course you did. This thing's a classic. Right? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? Oh, I always wanted to ride in it as a kid, but Callister would never let it leave the museum. God, this shirt brings back a lot of good old memories. You know, even if we don't solve the riddle, it was worth it to come here just to see all this old stuff. Well, hang on, let's not give up yet. Right. Christmas Clock Rewind brought us here, so what was the next line? Uh, between then and now you'll find. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, could this be it? Vintage holiday outfits from back then? Well, if it is, I don't see any clues, and they are closing in a few minutes. Yeah, well, keep your eyes out. We can always come back tomorrow. Oh, Kate, look. <gasps> yes. Got to be it, right? Yeah. <laughs> another envelope. And another thing I can't open. Uh, don't even yeah, think don't about, about it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> the next stop on your journey of Christmas giving is to send a message of Christmas cheer to someone you don't know, someone far or near. Well, this is turned. Sure. If you were to receive a message, it's turning out to be quite a little adventure. Right? <laughs> so your hip is better, but now it's your knee. Well, you wouldn't believe it, but this morning I felt I was walking on hot coals. So it's your foot then. Don't worry, we'll check for information, see what we can do for you, Mr. McAllister. You know, I looked online, and somebody said that there's a rare condition where pain in your hip can migrate to your knee, and then... Mr. McAllister, it's wonderful to hear that your hip is no longer bothering you, but considering it went away as quickly as it came, I'm not quite convinced the two are connected. But don't worry, we'll get to the bottom of it. Thank you, Dr. Stafford. That's quite a relief. Of course. Mr. McAllister, can I ask you an unrelated question? Sure. If you were to receive a message of Christmas cheer from someone you didn't know, would you want a Christmas card or personalized cookies or, I don't know, skywriting? Christmas is the last thing on my mind right now. Really? What about the Christmas exhibit at the museum? You know, I, I think the pain has, has moved to my other foot. We should get this checked out quickly. Of course. I'll, um, I'll order x-rays right away. Thank you, doctor. How much is it going to cost? And how long is it going to take? I thought right? it would be an hour tops, by yeah. the way. <laughs> so there's five year old Kevin telling this elaborate story about how the dog ate the entire blue grape pie. And meanwhile, and meanwhile Kevin's teeth were completely blue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how about we put a pause on the embarrassing stories? What? No, it's half the reason I came tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. How about a different story? How did you two meet? Ooh, yeah. Oh, well, um, I actually came here for work just for a month. Our paths never crossed. That's right, and I was actually driving home to Dallas. Yeah, and then... Um, and your car broke down. Yeah, and yeah. I had to be towed right back to Cedar Park. Yeah. Now, at that time, I was working as a mechanic. You know? So, Mother comes in, and she's asking me all kinds of questions about how much is it going to cost, and how long is it going to take? I right? thought it would be an hour tops, by yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah, well, a week and a delayed carburetor later, the car was good to go. Yeah, but I wasn't because I'd fallen in love with the mechanic. Mm -hmm. We were engaged by the end of the year, huh? Mm. That's beautiful. We put our announcement in our Christmas card. Yeah, we did. Mm -hmm. Actually, here's the card with our engagement announcement. <laughs> oh, look at you too. Yeah, it feels like yesterday. Look at all that hair. <laughs> oh, you stop, you. <laughs> yes, Mom likes to put these out every Christmas. Oh, I can see why. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Kevin, look, 
It's your grandpa. Oh. That would definitely count. Absolutely. That's a wonderful idea. Or we could take a cue from the museum. Oh, look at those frosted tips. Hey, it was cool at the time, and you know it, okay? Yeah, well, so were my feathered bangs. I have no idea why I thought that. Wait, is that, is that the model of the town that we saw at the museum? The very same, yeah. Such sweet memories. Every card is like a little time capsule. Oh, Grandpa. Yeah. You know, I always loved getting cards when I was overseas. It made me feel closer to home. Kevin, that's it. What? Why don't we send Christmas cards to the troops overseas? Yeah. Wait, well, what's this? The, the next step with the riddles is send a message of Christmas cheer to someone you don't know. Yeah, we could send Christmas cards to American service men and women. That would definitely count. Absolutely. That's a wonderful idea. Or we could take a cue from the museum and send one from the whole town. The residents of Cedar Park wishing the troops a Merry Christmas. I love it. But that is... It's a lot of people. Yeah, and it's only six days till Christmas. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna get there in time. Oh, how about we send a video message? Like a video collage of people around town wishing the troops a Merry Christmas. Jackson would help you with the video equipment. Oh, yeah. We can do this if we do it together. I'll tell my friends. Yeah, yeah, I can do the same, yeah. I can tell customers at the store. I'm sure I can get a few doctors and nurses on board. Yeah, mm -hmm. Everybody's going to be really excited to be a part of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. And then I can send it to a friend of mine at Air Force Outreach who can distribute it. And I help him out. <laughs> okay, check this out. 30.4 megapixel full frame sensor for superb video quality, lithium batteries to keep you going all day long, and the built in mic is not so bad either. Doesn't this all seem a bit much? Yeah, man, we don't even know how to work half of this stuff. <laughs> well, hey, that is why I'm here. I may not know my way around a crib, but I know how to make your video look good. <laughs> okay, well, um, Liz also said that she wanted help. She offered to bring a bunch of festive accessories. Oh, so. there you go. See, you got yourself a cinematographer and a stylist. You're in the big leagues now. I guess we are, huh? All right. What's the first shot, Spielberg? Okay, so I'm thinking a sweeping shot of a bunch of kids having an epic snowball fight. One of them gets hit right in the eye, right? And then I rush over to the kid and I help him out. Thank you for all that you do. Peace and joy to everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Okay, Ready? big smiles, everybody. Okay. At Cedar Park. Beautiful. Hey, you guys ready? All right. And action. To all of you over there, season's, season's greetings. greetings. Happy Hanukkah. Feliz Navidad. That's the spirit. Okay, ready? And action. Supporting our troops this holiday season. Merry Christmas from Cedar Park. Rental. You didn't want to personalize it a bit? Put your own spin on things. Hospital. Cut. Perfect. Yeah, Come have a look. Uh, how do you uh, make this right here? You do it. This is going to be the best Christmas video ever. <laughs> From all of us at Cedar Park. Happy The video is really good. I know. And underscoring it with a Christmas carol? Great idea. Thanks. I do love a good Christmas carol. <laughs> All right, now we've just got to wait for it to export. And then we're all good. Refill? Sure, yeah. I like what you've done with the place. Ah, <laughs> thanks. All came with the rental. You didn't want to personalize it a bit? Put your own spin on things? I know, I know. I guess. The more you commit to a place, the harder it is when you have to leave. Yeah. Life in the Air Force, always on the move. Anyway, if my parents have anything to say about it, I'll stay right here for good. My dad keeps dropping hints about me taking over the hardware store. What's wrong with that? I'm nothing. It's just... It's his thing, you know? I mean, he built that place from the ground up. He always wanted to own his own business. What do you want? Export is complete. Hmm. Um, okay, so how do we guess the password then? Oh, maybe it has something to do with this. Send it off. And there we go. They're gonna love it. I know, I sure would have. 
You know what this means we get to do next, don't you? What? Oh! Yeah? Oh. It's all yours. Is that a codex? Why am I not surprised you know exactly what that is? I don't know what this is. Um, I don't. Oh, right. <laughs> so how does it work? Uh, well, it's sort of like a bicycle combination lock. You arrange the six-letter wheels to spell out the correct password, and the cylinder slides open, revealing what's inside. What? Right? Cool. Yeah. Okay, so how do we guess the password, then? Oh, maybe it has something to do with this Christmas tree. Maybe. Oh, okay. Tree, Christmas tree. Um, bows, like deck the halls with bows, bows of home. Wait, yeah. okay. The bell breaks. You know what? Speaking of breaks, maybe the answer will come to us if we take one. Oh, what would you have in mind? Well, it's uh, it's actually the town tree lighting tonight, and um, I was wondering if maybe you wanted to go. So we can spend more time trying to crack the code? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Me either. The nursery. Yeah, disgusting is one way of putting it. OK, <laughs> don't you think an animal theme would be later tonight? Sounds good. Hi. Hey. Um, I thought you meant like some hot apple cider. Top shelf stuff. Perfect balance of cinnamon and nuts. It's all about the spice ratio. <laughs> so. Codex. Right. Yes. Um, oh, hey, guys. Hey. Oh, hi. So uh, I'm going to need your opinion on something. <laughs> Carolyn and I were just discussing the theme for the nursery. Well, discussing is one way of putting it. OK, <laughs> don't you think an animal theme would be perfect? Clouds, honey. Sweet little clouds with smiley faces on them. Yeah, but if you really think about okay, it, well, what I are you both doing tomorrow night? Oh, that's right. I forgot. So these guys throw the best ugly Christmas sweater parties. Yeah, 12 years running. Started winter break in college. Right. <laughs> well, that sounds like fun. Actually, some of my classmates at med school used to throw an ugly sweater Christmas party, and I could never go because I was always too busy studying. Well, now is your chance to join ours. We're a real tight-knit group. Oh, boy. Give me some. <laughs> Thank you. On that note, I would love to come. Great. Let me get your info. Oh, yeah. Thank you all for coming out to the annual tree lighting. It's wonderful. Wow. You and Kate seem pretty chummy. I don't know if I'd say chummy, but... I thought uh, all of this was the last thing on your mind. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, sweetie. Mm -hmm. They have homemade gingerbread cookies here. We should check out, maybe. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll see you both tomorrow night. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the rest of your evening. They seem so nice. They truly are the best. So, back to the puzzle. All right, everyone, we're going to get started. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Merry Christmas, Cedar Park. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out to the annual tree lighting. It's wonderful to see so many familiar, smiling faces, especially those we haven't seen for some time. Kevin Matthews. Our very own hometown hero. All right. Would you like to do the honors? Come on, Kevin. Yeah, I'd love to, Mayor. <laughs> it's here for Kevin. <laughs> Duty calls. Come on, Kevin. Come on, uh... <laughs> the box. Thanks, Megan. <laughs> wow, this is the real hero of Cedar Park. Uh, OK, everybody, we're going to start this countdown at five. Yes. Yeah? Five, four, three. Ah, oh, balsam, classic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you have the...
you'll be happy to know that I picked out a Christmas tree this afternoon. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Did you go all out and get the biggest one? <laughs> you sound like my parents. Growing up, they'd tell me to pick out the biggest Christmas tree that I could find. <laughs> well, did you? I think so. But, you know, when you're five, everything looks gigantic. Yeah. And yes, I definitely need a step stool for the one I picked. A rather tall balsam fir. Ah, uh, balsam. Classic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, do you have the codex on you? Yeah, what are you thinking? Balsam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. B A L S A M. Yeah. Uh, balsam bust. Mm, I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. Speaking of Christmas trees, do you think your parents would want to come over and help me decorate mine? What, I'm not invited? Uh, no. Yeah, no. Mm -mm, definitely not. I think you might want to reconsider. My height is a supreme advantage. <laughs> All right, fine. Just a little later than I had hoped. You got me there. Mm. A state would be thrilled to come over and help you. And I suppose it wouldn't be the worst way for me to spend my evening. <laughs> So, are you warming up to this town yet, or what? It's not what I expected. Oh, no? What did you expect? Well, not to be here, actually. My first choice in medical fellowships was Northwest Falls in Chicago. Why Chicago? It was the last place I lived with my parents before they passed. I always thought if I could get back there, I could somehow... Get that feeling of home back, too? Yeah. You'll get there eventually. Just a little later than I had hoped. Right. I, I still can't believe that you and your dad build Santa's Village every year. Yeah. You know, I gotta admit, when I was a kid, I thought helping build it would get me some kind of in with Santa, <laughs> and he would put my wishes at the top of the list. Right. Of course. <laughs> what was on your wish list as a kid? Oh, typical boy stuff, you know, toy cars, comic books, right. that kind of stuff. <laughs> How about you? A horse. Do you ask me here tonight? Glad you came. A horse. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. I'd ask my parents for one every year. Of course, it was completely impractical, so they got me a, a rocking horse instead. Ah, mm. clever. <laughs> but I still do want a real horse. Someday. It's on the grown up wish list. Yes, the grown up wish list. Mm -hmm. My own plane is on mine. Oh, okay. What else is on yours? Opening my own practice eventually. Maybe some traveling, too. Mm. Oh, actually, hearing about your time in the service got me thinking. Maybe some time with Doctors Without Borders could be interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you'd be great at that. I'm glad you asked me here tonight. Glad you came. As you can tell, Mr. McAllister, we couldn't find anything wrong with your hip or your knee, but you say that there's pain in your shoulders and your latissimus dorsi, which is a scientific name for a muscle in your back that I'm guessing you found online. Well, so you must be as perplexed about the cause of this as I am. Let's take a look at your mobility, shall we? Okay. Here we go. There it is. I haven't seen you at any holiday festivities around town. Uh, that's more my wife's thing. She passed away this year. Oh. You know, I wouldn't be starting a family with the love of my life if I let practical assessments stand in my... I'm so sorry. There's no point celebrating holidays without her. So, that was the rest of your night? Um, well, we didn't solve the codex yet. I mean, how'd it go with Kate? Oh. It was uh, a nice time. That's it? She caught you by surprise, didn't she? 
I'll admit we are getting along more than our initial meeting would have predicted. Oh, it's a very practical assessment. My practical assessment is she's leaving in a year. A lot can happen in a year. You know, I wouldn't be starting a family with the love of my life if I let practical assessments stand in my way. Okay, I'm going to go right some cider, okay? Go back. Oh, hi. 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 That is one ugly sweater. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Yours is easily top ten. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how was your day? Good. Good, yeah. Good. And you? Good, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. G. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You sure? I had a really nice time last night at the tree lighting. Did you? I mean, I did too, which is uh, good. Um. <laughs> oh, um, I thought of another possible answer for the codex. You did, really? Yeah. Did you solve it yet? Oh, what do you take me for, a rogue operative? Uh, I don't know. I can't be too careful. <laughs> you remember our first clue that we got? Mm -hmm. They talked about our journey of giving. Giving. Six letters, yes. Right? Why didn't I think of that? Would you like to do the honors? Absolutely. <laughs> May I? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, G, I, B, I, N, yeah, G, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. You sure? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> you did it. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Are you ready? Yes, what's it say? Because Christmas is a season for giving, donate a gift to the Cedar Park Toy Drive, where you'll find a surprise gift of your own. Well, that doesn't sound too hard. Kevin? I just realized what we're standing under. Oh, right. Uh, it's a mistletoe. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> Hang on, my phone's ringing. The job came along. Right, I, I did say that. So... Hold it. Yeah. Oh, it's the VA staffing agency. I gotta take this. I'll be right back? Yeah, of course. Go, go. Okay. I'll be right here. Okay. Well, maybe not right. Right, okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Kevin. I'm sorry for the late phone call. No problem. I just received word about an opening at a disaster relief organization. Oh, yeah? It's a real exciting company, and I think you'd be perfect. I mean, someone with your moral compass and experience leading teams. Yeah, that does sound interesting. Here's the catch. The position's in California. California? During our meeting, you said you'd be open to relocating if the right job came along. Right, I, I did say that. So, can I submit you? Kevin, it doesn't hurt to take the interview. Right, right, never hurts. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Stafford, I just want to say I'm really impressed with your performance here. You put your patients at ease. Your colleagues comment on your professionalism and your positive energy. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that, Dr. Reagan. You could have a real future here, beyond your fellowship, if that interests you. Hey. Sorry I'm late. No worries. What did you bring for the toy drive? This is a little toy... Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted you to know. So that's what we're all about here, rescuing those that have been affected by natural disasters, providing humanitarian aid such as shelter, treatment, and more. Response, recovery, and mitigation is just like my time in the Air Force. Exactly why I think you'd fit right in here. It was nice talking to you, Kevin. Let me connect with my team. I'll be in touch. Okay, thank you, Kimberly.
for Kate and Kevin. Open me. Thank you. Okay. Congratulations on nearing the end of this journey of giving. While Christmas is about giving, means that there's nothing wrong with you medically speaking. Well, I don't understand. Where do all the aches and pains come from? It is also about being open to receiving. My turn. <laughs> For your final step, think back to when you received your favorite gift on Christmas morning and recreate that meaningful memory for each other. Meaningful memory. Hmm. That's it. You think of something? It's not for me, it's for somebody else. I gotta run. What? Who? Yeah, I'll see you tonight at my place, decorate the tree. Okay. Mr. McAllister. Dr. Stafford. There's nothing wrong with you. What? What you've been experiencing. They're called minor psychogenic symptoms. Well, that sounds bad. No, 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 it's good. It means that there's nothing wrong with you, medically speaking. Well, I don't understand. Where do all the aches and pains come from? Well, your discomfort started acting up the closer you got to Christmas, right? So? I remember you told me that your wife loved Christmas. I'm guessing your most meaningful memories of the holidays are with her. Well, what's that got to do with anything? You miss her, and that's why it's hitting you the hardest now. See, sometimes our emotional responses can translate into physical ones, and that's why you're hurting. But if you embrace Christmas as a time to remember all the wonderful things about your wife, the holiday can be a source of joy for you instead. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I From now on, but you didn't know my wife or what we had. And nothing can take away the pain of missing her. So if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to work. Good day, Dr. Stafford. Yes. How are you? Excellent. You look just like them. Oh, I remember that photo. That was when we moved to Chicago. I remember I cried the entire drive there. Oh. <laughs> it was Christmas time, and I just, I miss my old house and my old neighborhood. So my mom gave me this locket. Oh. Yeah, it was really sweet. She said it was a reminder that no matter where I found myself for the holidays, I would never be far from home. That's beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, might be the hospital. Yeah. Hello? Kate Stafford? It's Patricia Lynn with Northwest Falls Medical. Northwest Falls? Yes. Hi. Yes. How are you? Excellent. I apologize for the late call, but it's a timely matter. There's been a change in our fellowship slate, and a spot has opened up for you. You're doing a great job. Oh. Oh, I've got to take this. One second. That's okay. Hi there. Kevin, hi. It's Kimberly from California Disaster Relief. Yes, hi. How are you? Great, thank you. I spoke to my team and we all agree you'd be an excellent fit. The job is yours. Oh, wow, thank you. 
that's that's great to hear. We can work out all the details in the next few days, but just... yeah, yes, okay, all good. Son, everything okay? Just so I'm clear, you're able to relocate after the holidays? Wow, um, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't expect this. <laughs> no, it's a lot to take in. If you still wanted the fellowship is yours, it would start the first week in January. Uh, can I give it some thought? Oh, of course, of course. But we will need to know by end of day tomorrow. Otherwise, we'll have to release the slot to a runner-up. I. Uh, yeah. Let me look into that on my end. Oh, and Kate. Yes? We would really love to have you. Everything good? Yeah, yes. Okay, all good. Son, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. Yeah. Dr. Stafford. Mr. McAllister, actually, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to apologize for what I said to you the other night. There's no need, because you were absolutely right. Last night, I walked through Cedar Park, and I looked at all the houses lit up with sparkling lights. Evelyn always loved doing that. And I felt uh, close to her again. So, what do you think? Wow. And this morning, when I woke up, not a spot of pain anywhere. That's so wonderful to hear. Well, I know this is a small token of my appreciation, but candy canes are always her favorite. I don't know what to say. Well, how about um, Merry Christmas? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. McAllister. Merry Christmas to you as well, Dr. Stanford. Wow. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about things. And I owe you thank you. For what? You know, for what you said when you came over the other day. You were right. I was putting too much pressure on myself to have all the answers. I'll, uh, I'll learn as I go. You're going to be a terrific father, buddy. <laughs> oh, hey, take a look at this. Huh? Looks great, right? Ooh, wow. The student becomes the master. So, by the way, how did the interview go with the folks in California? Pretty good, I think, yeah. Yeah? Well, they offered me the job, so... Way to bury the lead, buddy. Congrats. That's great. Have you told Kate yet? Not yet. This, this whole time, I thought you wanted me to... Oh, I gotta run. Carolyn's home. She hasn't seen any of the nursery yet. She is gonna love it. Ah, thanks, man. Talk later. Bye-bye. So a job in California, huh? Hey, uh, didn't know you were standing there. Yes, uh, I haven't accepted it yet. Why not? Well, it would take me out of Cedar Park. So? So? If it's what you want, you should go for it. But if I leave, who's going to take over the hardware store? Take over the store? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? All, all the hints you've been dropping about how you love having me around? Well, of course I love having you around. You're my son. This, this whole time, I thought you wanted me to take over Matthew's family hardware. Kevin, this store was my dream. I never meant for you to feel like you had to follow in my footsteps. I want you to pursue your own dreams, your own aspirations. And if it takes you out of Cedar Park, then you should go for it. It's not about what I want or what your mother wants. It's about you. It's your life. Go for it. Dad, what if I don't know what I want yet? I mean, what if I leave and then I find out that what I actually want was here in Cedar Park? Oh, Jackson told me that the Disaster Relief Organization offered him the job in California. Park all along. Well... I guess you got some choices to make. 
By the way, you'll always have a home here. So Northwest Falls just offered you a spot. Your dream job in your dream city. I still can't believe it. Are you going to take it? I don't know. But it's what you always wanted. Have you told Kevin about the offer yet? No. Well, you have to. Wait, please. What a surprise. Oh, Caroline, hi. I was just thinking about you and Kevin's big news. Big news? Oh, Jackson told me that the disaster relief organization offered him the job in California. What? He didn't tell you. Yes, right. It's it's really great news. It's very exciting for him. Whew, for a second there, I thought I said something out of turn. <laughs> well, I've got to get to an appointment, but we'll all have to get together before he leaves. I can't believe they want him to start right after the holidays. Did you know about California? No, Kevin didn't say anything. Okay, this is exactly why the two of you need to talk. But if he got a job opportunity... I don't want to hold him back. You don't know if he accepted the job or not. Carolyn just said that he's leaving, and he's been wanting to find something like this. Maybe what he wants is changing. wishes and support. It means so much to us. Merry Christmas, Cedar Park. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, it's just Kevin Matthews calling you. Yeah, um, listen, I just want to thank you for the opportunity and, and for choosing me. It really does sound like an, an incredible job. My first choice fellowship called. Spot opened up. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn it down. Yeah, there are just some things that are keeping me here in Cedar Park. Thank you for understanding. Okay, you too. recreate a meaningful Christmas memory, but, um... Why are you packing? My first choice fellowship called. Spot opened up. In Chicago? Yes. And you're... You're gonna take it just like that? That's what I wanted all along. I thought this place was starting to mean something to you. Look, Kevin, I thought... No, were you gonna tell me, or were you just gonna leave? <sighs> This is exactly why I don't like getting too comfortable anywhere. It just makes leaving that much harder. Hmm. I see. Well, I'll make things easier on you then. Here. Safe travels. Good job. Nope. Apparently you turned it down. The news was such a wonderful Christmas Eve.
Hi, so I can't believe tonight's Christmas Eve. <laughs> and I know that you're probably busy. I was hoping that you had a minute. I have something I need to ask you. Of course, but first, did you hear the good news about Kevin? Uh, actually, he's staying in Cedar Park. What? Well, I thought he was leaving for California for the job. No, nope. apparently he turned it down. The news was such a wonderful Christmas Eve gift. It's great. Hey, Dad. Oh. I had an idea. You know, when I was researching jobs, I saw a lot of fundraising organizations looking for construction partners. Uh-huh. And I thought, instead of building houses for Santa's village, what if we built them for real? What do you mean? Sponsoring a new initiative, building homes for local families in need. That's a beautiful idea, son, but I don't have the manpower. Well... Uh, she, uh, she called me, asked me about, uh, you know, uh, Christmas morning's past. Me? <laughs> You'd work at the store? You know, being in the Air Force wasn't just about finding structure and discipline. It was oh. about helping people. Mm -hmm. and after everything with Kate, you know, we just brought so much joy to people's lives. That's what I want to do with mine. I'm so proud of you. Have you told Kate about this yet? Uh, that's a little complicated at the moment. Uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out, especially after you recreate the Christmas morning memory for her. <laughs> Wait, I, I never told you about that. Sure you did. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I, I never told you or Mom about that. Oh, it was Kate. Yeah. Yeah, she, uh... She called me, asked me about, uh, you know, Christmas morning's past. Yeah. <laughs> Kate called you? Mm-hmm. Oh, gosh darn. Your mother and I were so good at keeping a secret. What? It was both of you this whole time? Oh, please don't let her know that I let it slip out. Oh, my. Wow. It, how did you put all of this together? Well, uh, after your mother and I got engaged, we wanted to move somewhere new. One morning, we found a set of keys and a riddle at our door. And, well, you know the rest. And it seems a friend of mine wanted to remind us of this. Well, figuring things out is what you do best. This magical town and giving back and Christmas spirit. Wow. How have I never heard this story before? Well, your mother and I had hoped that we could pay it forward. Day? Yes, but it's probably too late. You messed up everything. I'm sure Dr. Reagan would love to have you back. And Northwest Falls can find a replacement. What about Kevin? Talk about it when you see him. But don't you have a Christmas memory to give each other? He already gave me his. It was perfect. But no idea what to do for him. Well, figuring things out is what you do best. Cheer up. It's almost Christmas. Mr. McAllister? I need your help for a little Christmas Eve miracle. Well, you've come to the right place. <laughs> I'll explain it all later, but I, I wanted to. Hey? How did you. McAllister never. Uh, how did you make this happen? I may have called in a favor from a friend. <laughs> Hello. Wow. Well, what are you waiting for? Hop aboard. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. Thank you. Meaningful Christmas memory unlocked? Definitely. Yeah.
By the way, my parents were behind all of this. What? Yeah. How? I'll explain it all later, but I, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. No, I should be the one apologizing. I turned the other fellowship down. So you're going to stay in Cedar Park? There's nowhere else I'd rather leave because I thought you took the job in California. My home is right here with you. to appraising the contents of the Hawthorne House. I think you and this house both deserve a little Christmas luck. Swept Up by Christmas premieres Saturday night at 10, only on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.